Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today uh, I want to test eco-friendly products. I've been taking steps to be better to the environment. I have a Keurig but I use the refillable pod. I don't buy like little pods. I buy just like a bag of beans and stuff. I try and bring back my bags to the grocery store. It doesn't always work. I've been taking little steps. I've tried like the recycled good for the environment like paper towels and toilet paper. They're just not that I mean that we should buy them, but Bounty is the quicker picker upper. So I went on a search and I was like, okay, what easy little transitions, like little things can I buy that will make my uh, evil punch in the face to the environment a little less? And so I just like bought like the easiest things I could transition to. Like, why not? I can do this. Here we go. Ready? Let's begin. The first product we're gonna try here, because I want a sip of my water, are reusable straws. I have a box of plastic straws in my drawer right now in my kitchen, but I've decided to try reusable ones so I don't, you know, pollute the earth with plastic. Oh, they make quite a nice noise. They're like wind chimes. You know, if I was the wind. Okay, so it came with four slightly bent straws and four straight straws. I guess these ones are probably for like pictures. They're cuter in pictures. I don't know. And it also came with two cleaning things. Oh, oh, that does go in nicely. <laughs> the thing with reusable straws is that gunk can get inside of them. So they've given you something to clean them. Now let's see if it works in the bendy one. Oh, oh, it does. Okay. Oh, it bent. Let's drink my water. See if it tastes weird. See if something's a buzz about it. By golly, it's a straw. If anything, it makes the drink colder because the straw gets cold. Well, I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about these. I think these are a very normal thing. Are they dishwasher safe? Can I dishwasher them? Adult supervision required if used by children under 12. It's a straw! I guess if you stuck it up your nose, that could be bad. I guess they're a weapon of some, I don't know. But I have to say, definitely an easy transition that I could have made a long time ago. Next product, bottle to pen! It's a pen! World's first pens made from recycled bottles. Are they recyclable afterwards though? Smooth writing, comfortable grip, refillable. Oh, you're supposed to refill them, not recycle them. I don't know, I think that's kind of a flaw. But we're gonna test it. So I have a recycled pen and a non-recycled pen. They seem about the same, don't they? They're like in the same of the world. So let's write something and uh, see what happens. First, the normal earth killing pen. By the way, I have terrible handwriting. The earth saving pen. Here is the difference. So this is the killing of the earth pen and this is the loving pen. I will say it's not as glossy and dark, but it does what it needs to do. These have always been my favorite pens. They're glossy, they're dark, they look better, but I could switch to these and in four seconds forget that the other one existed or how the other one writes. I think this is totally fine. I mean, if you're snooty on your ink preference, this one is better. You can be the judge. You saw the ink. They felt the same while writing. That's just gonna go down to how snooty you are with your ink. Next one, toothbrushes. I never thought about toothbrushes and the fact that they're made with plastic and we're supposed to like switch them every once in a while. Before I started dating Matt, I switched my toothbrush. Like I replaced my toothbrush maybe like once every three years. Disgusting. This gives you a pack of toothbrushes that is supposed to last you a year. So every three months, you use a new toothbrush. They label it. They're like, here you idiot, use this. So they are BPA free, biodegradable bamboo handle made from recycled material. It says one on it. They really want you to know how many times you're supposed to change this. They've tried so hard to like add grooves to it to be like, we aren't a boring cheap toothbrush. I mean, looks like a really cheap toothbrush you'd get at the dentist after a cleaning, but it's good for the environment. So unless you're a toothbrush snob, I don't know. Welcome to my echoey bathroom. Time to brush my teeth. Come out of your hole. All right, toothpaste and then water. Oh, it feels weird. <laughs> Oh, feels like a giant toothpick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's very wide, so doing this, it's like, you're really gonna push the cheek out to get there. I'm pretty skinny too. I mean, I guess I'm just being dramatic. Oh no, it's taller and it's longer. Oh, my lipstick washed off quite nicely. That's a plus. It doesn't taste like plastic. It doesn't feel like plastic. Can I help you? <laughs> You definitely notice that it is not plastic. It is like a giant toothpick in your mouth. I think that's something I will get over in about uh, two days. It definitely has a different feel to it than my normal toothbrush, but that's switching any toothbrushes, I think. So I'll keep using it. If something terrible happens, I'll let you guys know, like on my vlog channel or I'll tweet it. But I think it's just like a normal toothbrush that's just different than what I normally use. Fits right in the little thing. And I will use my eco-friendly pen to write the months in which I need to start using the next one. I mean, it's not the best, but it's for the world. 
Next product. So in LA and a lot of Southern California, you have to buy bags at the grocery store. Like the paper bags or the plastic bags, they cost 10 cents. You can buy a reusable bag for like a dollar. I've never done that. I always buy the paper bags and then reuse them until they shred or fall apart or I use them to pick up my dog's poop. For some reason, I've never bought the cloth reusable ones. I don't know why I've never done it. And it's not like the paper ones are more convenient because they're big, they're clunky, they're whatever. I reached my standing goal just sitting here. Just so we all know, I've reached my standing goal for the day, sitting down. Thanks, Apple. So I went and I bought reusable bags on Amazon that apparently can fold down really tiny and just fit in your purse. So earlier today, I went to the store to test these out. Oh, but wait, not only did I get reusable grocery bags, I also got reusable produce bags. Now this one was a big one for me because we buy a lot of fruit and vegetables, a lot, but we use a lot of those plastic bags. And I never realized it. And I was hesitant to buy these because I'm like, this is awkward. This is awkward. This, I feel like that's just awkward to go into the store and just pull out your own produce bag. Like, I don't see people doing that. I do see people buying the produce and not putting it in bags at all. And just like, it's just, that's gross to me. So I need a bag. So I bought these and then I went to the store with both the grocery bags and the produce bags. Okay, I'm outside the store. I have my shopping bags and my produce bags in my purse. They fit in there, which is a plus. And now we're gonna go shop and I'm gonna feel awkward even though no one's gonna care. But I'm still gonna think that everyone's looking at me. No no one's gonna be looking at me. So, it wasn't bad. <laughs> These are the Purify You Premium Reusable Mesh Bags. You can wash them in the washing machine and then tumble dry on low. You can use them for multiple things, not just produce. There's a bunch of them and they're all different sizes and they tell you how much they weigh on the side of them. So like, if you're like worried about it being heavier than a plastic bag, you can tell the grocer, hey, that weighs some of the weight. I did not do that. I was like, I will pay the extra. I don't wanna have this conversation. So as I was putting the produce in, I was like, this is a little thick. Like, are they gonna be able to see the, the produce numbers? You know, like the Apple stickers and stuff that my sister's definitely afraid of. Can they see that? And the guys did it quite well. I go to Whole Foods where they're used to like people being friendly to the planet and stuff. They're used to that. So I'm sure my guy has seen something like this before. It was apparently really easy for him to see through the bag. I didn't think he'd be able to. He did. Congrats to him. So this is it up close. Can you see it? Can oh, you can see it. <laughs> and something cool that I saw was that this. Boop. You feel awkward at first, but you shouldn't because you're doing something great for the environment and your life. I mean, why do we feel awkward about that. It's just, I it guess it's not the social norm yet, but that's okay. I will say all of it together is kind of bulky. You'd have to like bring a backpack. I have like a big purse. I mean, if you only, if you know you're only getting like two different kinds of fruit or three different kinds of fruit or something, you can just bring the appropriate amount of bag or just throw this in your car and take what you need. But I understand the inconvenience and the awkwardness of it, but I feel like I should just suck it up and get over that. So I'm gonna. Okay, now the, the reusable shopping bags. Oh, I'm getting hot. Whew. The reusable shopping bag. These, I feel like it's, it's more normal, especially in Southern California. It's more normal to bring a bag, so it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, but I will say, so these are supposed to be able to fold up. These were sturdy. This is sturdy. Like, as I was holding it, I was like, this is sturdy. Oh, this is inside out. I inside out out of it. Okay, these are a little confusing, but I think it's just something that wants, nope, now it's inside out. How, who is inside out? Me or you? Nope, this is so confusing. Okay, this might not be as easy as it seems. You just fold it like so. You're supposed to just be able to stick it all in this pouch? Yeah, that seems right. Okay, so it has folded down into this side. It's got a little thing, like if you have a carabiner or something, quick link, you know, you just put it on that, I guess, on your keychain. My dog is looking at me like I am a crazy person. So I had two of these folded down to this side. They fit in my purse easily, they were nice. But I know me, logically, this is how it's gonna go in my purse at the end of the day. That's an easy change for me. I think that, that's pretty easy. Okay, so the last product is this thing that is in this box. Did you guys know that when things are plugged in to this video is not that boring. Did you guys know that when things are plugged in, I learned this from 30 Rock. So whoever said TV is not educational can go suck it. When things are plugged into the wall, even if they aren't on, they are still using energy. I did not know this. So if you have a phone charger plugged in, but you're not charging your phone, you're still using electricity. So this thing apparently stops that. Let me read the instructions. That's not in English. 
So you're supposed to just plug it into the top socket in a two socket thingy. That way it won't block the bottom one. Okay, so it's basically on a timer. So this will not conduct electricity when plugged in unless you've turned it on. So you can have it on a half hour, three hours, or six hours. So if you're charging your phone, you put it on like three hours, you plug in your phone, you hit the thing, and then this will stay on for three hours and then it'll stop conducting energy. All the energy will stop a flowing. So you're not wasting any more energy. Your phone is plenty charged after three hours. Hopefully you're honey, you need a new phone. So this would be perfect for several things in my house, such as phone chargers, but also my Keurig. You can put it on just for a half hour. The blender for a half hour. The toaster. You can always keep the things plugged into this, but you just set a timer whenever you want to use it. You just set the timer and press the button. That's actually kind of genius. And I wish that they came in like more, like if it, I could put it into both outlets and it, it wasn't so expensive, but let's test it out because in theory, this is a good idea. Let's see if this works. All right. Let's go plug something in. So this is my mirror I use to do my makeup. I do my makeup in my office. This is zoomed in. I do my makeup in my office and I always have this little mirror plugged in because it has a light on it and I just do it on my table that I do all my filming at. So this is always plugged in and it makes a little, oh! But I don't need it for more than a half hour at a time. So unplug that to a half hour, plug it in. Plug this bad boy in and light. Okay, so it is set for a half hour. We're gonna keep that on. Hi. And then in a half hour, gosh darn it, the zoom in. In a half hour, we'll check on it and uh, see if it shut itself off. I honestly think this is a really easy thing that everyone could do. It's slight inconvenience that you have to press on every time and it definitely will not work for all the things in your house. And you can't plug in two into one outlet. It's only one per outlet. I'm sure soon they'll come up with a double thingy, but that's just for a later time. It's Still on. It's got 30 seconds to turn off for us. I'm calling bull. <gasps> oh, snap, it did it. Please, it did it. It did it, it turned off. Oh, snap. Oh, it did it. Oh God, the zoom, man. <laughs> All right, but that's it for today. They weren't as bad as I thought that they were going to be. The thing with eco-friendly products and why people don't use them is because they're usually not as good of a product or they require a little bit more effort. Obviously, cleaning a straw is a lot more effort than throwing a straw away. I will say the fruit bag, that's just, it's, it is awkward. It is a thing that I will do now. It is awkward, but it is a thing that I will do. Again, this video is not sponsored. It's not me saying like, I'm a better person than you guys because I do use eco-friendly products. I don't, I have a massive truck that burns fuel like crazy. But as I get older, I realize that I should be taking more steps. So I've been trying and I will put all these, I have like, I don't know how to explain it. I have like an Amazon playlist. It's not music, it's all the things I bought. I'm gonna put the link down below, I'm not sponsored. None of this is sponsored. You'll go there and I'm gonna start putting every product I try in any of my videos. I'm gonna start putting all of the products in that playlist thing. It's a, it's a shopping list basically. And some products that I just use on my normal daily. They'll be, be in that. So if you guys are interested in any of these products or anything I have tried or tested, they'll be it'll be in the link below. So if you like this video, like it. Comment below if there's any more products you guys want me to try. I can, I mean, there were so many eco-friendly ones that I could try. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Again, tweet me or comment below any products you guys would like me to try or test or any video ideas you have for me. I am here to please you. You guys seem to like it when I test things. So here I am testing. I love you guys so much. The shout out for this week will be Hannah Cook. Hannah Cook, thank you so much for retweeting my foot peel video. If you guys didn't check it out, I tested two different kinds of foot masks, foot peels. They worked really well, a lot different than I thought that they would. But remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums. <laughs>